and this is my home renovation video bedroom into a kitchen part one i'm working around in my house today i have a kitchen behind me and that is going into a room i'm converting like a room into a kitchen area so this is the kitchen i bought it all made up drawers everything like that here's your pantry you got the shelves this cupboard that you see in here that gets put up here and a fridge in the side here in the middle here and then obviously a wall down the side You've got like a sink area here You've got the oven space there this is the range hood that it came with so that's all made let me show you where it's going this is where it's going this is my plan okay this room here it is quite narrow but it does have a door leading to outside obviously we're going to have to landscape out there but this is the room and this is my plan I'm gonna knock this wall down and build the wall here build the wall there I'm gonna knock these bricks down I'm gonna cut these tiles back this is all gonna be one room so the kitchen's gonna go on this wall here then I'm gonna reuse this timber paneling and run it along here and I'm gonna have a doorway here so this is all going to open up. So first step, we're just going to just going to run my tool along here and cut it out nice and even. I'll even go down the side, and then same with the other side. We're going to pull it down, and we're going to cut the timber out. Shouldn't take too long at all. I haven't used one of these tools before. I've said it so many times. I've done so many videos on these. This is my favorite tool. This this wall is 10 mils thick. You got cables in the wall, you got timber, everything like that. I set it at like nine mil. So it just cuts it and you can actually put a, a vacuum attachment on as well. So to get it going, you just hold it like this and then plunge in and then start going. It is a good idea to always use it with a vacuum because you don't want it to build up in there. Look at this dodgy bloke mate. Not even a full length there. It's actually got to bring in a lot of light walking through now. If you come through the front door and you'll see the lovely greenery outside. Oh, built tough. Built tough. start the video with like something like this oh yeah by the way I sheeted this whole place over this thin ply with glue so I think I did a pretty good job see Look at this cornice, 18 years old. 
Now, if you're watching at home, make sure this is not a structural wall. I think they recommend turning the lights off. Here's what you do, guys. You don't do that. You come in the back way. Little tricks like that might save a life or two. When you've been in the game as long as me, it's these life-saving decisions that make the difference. It's the best part of the job, it's the demo. Uh, we will be reusing these timber panels. We're going to pull them off and when we put the wall in right here, we're going to put them on the outside. Okay, and there's also going to be a door in between there. It's one of those like dividing, you know, the hotel rooms and you can either have it connected or apart. That's what we're going to be doing here. Buckaroo. Buckaroonie. One of the strongest tools around this. This baby. Thank you, bye bye. I'm gonna get all the rubbish out. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Knock this cornice off. I'm gonna knock this cornice off on the inside here. 
as well. Take some of this out. I think this is resting on this here, so we're gonna see what we're gonna do there. I might have to stick some timber in the roof and shoot it up into the roof, so it's not, there's not a lot of weight on that anyway. That's just decoration. We're gonna clean it back. I'm gonna take those panels off. I'm gonna knock these down shortly, and then we're gonna position the cabinets. So we're gonna find out where all the electrical is gonna go. Then we're gonna get the electrician here. He's gonna fix all of this up. He's gonna run all the wires, what we need, and that's it. So stay tuned, next video, this is all gonna be cleaned up and ready to go. right under the right over the corners that's what I did here see that beautiful mate oh look at the gap Okay, the next step in this kitchen renovation is to remove all of these tiles, to remove this carpet, to remove that skirting board. I want to remove these tiles so I can build the wall frame exactly where this is going here. I want to build that. Let's turn some lights on here. Once I've built that frame, I can get the electrician, he can relocate these 
into this wall here. I can have the door here. I'm gonna soundproof it. And I need to jack, jack up all of these tiles here. And thankfully, we have this grout line here, exactly where we're gonna be stopping. So that's the step I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna take all the tiles up to here and I'm gonna show you how to do that so we don't damage any of these tiles because they're all gonna be left once the wall's up. These are all gonna be left, so we wanna keep them good. But you need a right tool for that. There's a few different tools you can use. I do have a big jackhammer in there, but I don't think we're gonna need that, hopefully. I'm just gonna use this. Should do the trick. Combined with my multi-tool, we're gonna dig out a bit of that grout. We're gonna use this. This is gonna carefully dig out the grout so we don't break a tile onto the next tile. 